Step one, wind the spring. There are three things that move the film in a film camera. There's the, the sprocket wheel, which pulls the film this way. There's the claw, which pulls down one frame at a time here. And then there's the other side of the sprocket wheel, which forces the film towards the take-up. If any one of these fails, it will fail. So you have to check each one. So anyway, what we're going to do, first of all, open these little flaps. So you press this black bar and it releases that. So you can open them. All right. Get yourself some film. It's probably going to be easier if you don't put the film, the roll of film in the camera, but put it there. Put it next to the camera. All right. Put the film around the sprocket like that. Now, you need to shut this door, and then you need to make sure that the perforation of the film has landed on the teeth. If you can just pull this and it's loose, then you haven't found the, the tooth of the sprocket wheel. Or the sprocket wheel hasn't found the perforation. All right. In that instance, it's done, so I can move on to the next one. So I'm opening the gate with my finger. Now I'm going to go around that pin at the top. Right, now I'm through the gate. However, I'm not necessarily on the claw. So I'm testing whether I'm on the claw, and that doesn't feel like I am. Oh, now it is, because I can't pull it back up. So now I'm on the claw. At least I believe I am. But I'll have to do a final test. We go around the bottom sprocket wheel and we can do the same thing. Shut the flap and then see. Yes, that looks correct. It's not, it's not budging from there. So now we have to test it. Right. So uh, once it's stabilized itself, you can see that it's being, it's attached and being moved at all three points. If it wasn't, what you'd see is perhaps the top loop bulging out or the bottom loop bulging out, or the top loop getting really small, or the bottom loop getting really small, like being eaten away, um, that's indicative that at one of these three point one of these three points, the film the machine isn't holding the film in the, in one of its perforations. So having done that, obviously you then put the I've wasted a bit too much film here, but it's better to waste a bit of film than to have a bad load. It's a little bit tricky because it's such a small camera. But there we are, that's the film transporting.